Hey you guys, it's Carlos here. Welcome back to my channel. All right, you guys, so in today's video, we're actually going to be doing like kind of like a revisit on a product that I actually fell in love with over a year ago. I can't believe it's been a year since I tested out this product in the sense of like me being shocked of how much I actually paid for it. So today's video, we're actually going to be revisiting this expensive sucker right here. The YSL, um, I'm not sure what it's actually called, the Couture Color Clutch Paris Palette. I don't know. I'm probably butchering the name, but at the time, this did retail for $120. Um, but <laughs> if I would have waited a, maybe a year longer, you could actually get this at your local TJ Maxx and Marshalls department store. When I say department store, I ain't no, but it's not a department store. Your local TJ Maxx and Marshall store, discount store. That's the word I was looking for, not department store. <laughs> special anyways you guys so that is what we're going to be doing we're going to be revisiting this um and the reason for that because actually i've over the months especially recently recently can talk especially recently and i think it's because you can actually buy this now at tj maxx or marshall's hopefully not at ross <laughs> no shade to ross um I think it's because you can actually find it there now. So now more people are intrigued with it. So I've been getting a lot more views on my original video on actually doing it first impressions. So people have been asking, hey, can you do some more looks with it? So that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, hopefully it's not, it didn't go bad in a year because I've only used it that one time. Um, I don't wear makeup like that. So I buy it for you guys to test it out, give you my honest thoughts and opinions. But anyways, that's what we're going to be doing today doing today i can't i can't tell <laughs> anyways scroll my all right you guys if you are new to my channel i'm a hot mess i'm just gonna keep it real that's just how i am flow with me all right if you are new to my channel as i mentioned before my name is carls if you like makeup tutorials lifestyle videos product reviews and unboxing then this channel is right up your alley including if you like hot messes like me where <laughs> I don't know where I'm going, then make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also hit the notification bell as well. So anytime I upload a new video, you automatically get the notifications and please give my video a thumbs up because it does help out the channel, including the video. And plus I appreciate it when you guys do, because it shows me that you're engaging with my video. What's all this? Anyways, you guys, let's just get started. <laughs> I wish I knew. Okay, so as I mentioned, we are going to be revisiting this sucker right here, the YSL Couture, Couture Color Clutch Palette. I don't know. Again, at the time, $120 was the most I've ever spent on a palette. I still can't believe I spent $120, especially I've only used it one time, but I'm happy that I do have it. I do know the first time I've used it, I had a positive experience, but y'all wanted to see more looks with this actual palette again i think it's just because you can now find it at your local discount store not your department store <laughs> well you could still find it at the department store oh disclaimer though if you are picking up this palette at tj maxx or marshall's keep in mind when you are purchasing makeup at those discounted stores you have to keep in mind that the longevity, meaning like the expiration of it, may not last as long as you would have bought it normally in your actual department stores or like Ulta or Sephora. And the reason for that is because you don't know how long the product has been sitting on the shelf and how it's been stored. Because believe it or not, depending on how the product is actually stored, it's actually going to help the longevity of the product or actually decrease it. Meaning because there are preservatives, if you didn't know this, in palettes, those preservatives are there to help prevent bacteria growth. If those preservatives break down, guess what happens? The palette goes bad, even if you're not using it. So just a disclaimer, if you are ever purchasing any makeup from those discounted stores, take a look at it. Just, you know, use your gut. Your gut instinct telling you, should I get it? Should I not get it? Because you don't want to have a rash. Just keeping y'all informed. Anyways, guys. So what I need to do right now is get these eyebrows done because I don't have them done. So let me go ahead and do that now. I am going to be using my Holy Grail. This is the NYX Professional Lift and Snatch Eyebrow Pen. The reason why I like this, just in case I've never seen my videos before. I like it because it has a little bit more precise 
or like control as to where I'm applying it. And I pretty much just like this because it gives, I allow, doesn't give me, well, it does give me. When I'm actually using it, I like to create hairline strokes. I got it. All right, let me go ahead and do my eyebrows and then we'll get started on the actual palette. Okay, don't you guys ever have that same problem when you're actually applying eye, when you're doing your eyebrows, not applying them? Why? I guess you're technically you are applying. Anyways, when you're actually doing your eyebrows, like they don't always look the same. Technically, they shouldn't always look the same. One is going to always be different. But it's nice to have that look where they do look the same. Like this one, look, this one looks a little more fuller than this one. They're distant cousins. But at least they're still relatives. I guess that's what matters, right? Anyways, you guys. So the, uh, the yeah, where that? What the? F All right. So again, this is what we're going in with. I just forgot. I forgot to prime my eyelids. Oops. Let's go into thank me later. Thank me later. Um, this is the only eyeshadow primer that I use. I love it. I just feel like it doesn't give off that white casting. Um, look i don't like that i'm not trying to look like casper the ghost okay you guys so i got my eyelids all primed and all set hey you guys um real quick before i get started let me know still with the lighting how you guys like this if you don't like it you do like it um i did change some of the lighting around if the lighting around just in case you didn't see my last video and the reason why i did that is because um before i actually had the ring light in front of me behind my sony camera and it kind of washed everything out um, you could see me, which wasn't a problem, but it almost came off as though like you couldn't actually see the texture of my skin. Like it almost looked kind of like flawless. Again, good lighting and the position of where your camera is at. It does wonders in terms of like visually to like someone who's watching you because then they say, oh my God, the person has like great skin. It's not that, it's just good quality lighting. And so I wanted to change some of that around so you can actually see my face for what it is. And plus when I was holding like white products like this, you couldn't actually see the white product because it got it, it, it got it. It completely washed out the white, pro, um, the white products themselves, the packaging. Like you just, you couldn't see any of this before. Now you can, because again, I readjusted the lighting. If it doesn't work for you guys and you say, Carl's, I like it the old way. Let me know. I'll work around that. Um, but again, I do feel like you can see my skin a little bit better. Anyways, where was I going with this? All right, eyelids prime. Let's get started. Um, now, I don't know which shade I'm going to go into, but I think I'm going to go into this first one right here, which is um, more of a softer gold. I'm going to use that as kind of like my base. What I'm going to apply that is right below the brown bone area and a little bit right by the crease. I'm going to go there. And the reason for that is because I want to be able to use the, the next shade next to it, that brown, um, right by the, cr or on the out, get my words right, on the outer corner of my eyes. The tongue twists it. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and get started because I have no clue what the heck I'm saying anymore. All right, so let's go ahead take some of this product i forgot about how much there was um fallout or kick up i meant all right so again if you're not familiar as to what i'm doing instead of like dusting off the product i like to pack the product on here so that i'm not wasting it if i need to go back to get some more i can go onto my hand rather than back into the pan um it's a nice method to do it that way because you're not being wasteful and doing this all the time um but i still do this from time to time anyways you guys okay <laughs> that make no sense did it all right i should bring you up hold on you guys let's let's do a close-up if i see any if you if you see any mocos let me know mm -hmm. i guess you wouldn't be able to let me know huh <laughs> all right so hmm. okay i got this little mark right here because i plucked my eyebrow earlier so you got this like little red pinch anyways sorry squirrel moment <laughs> All right, so as I mentioned, I'm just going to apply that product right here and lightly bring it upward right below the brown bone area. So let me go ahead and do this a little bit right here, and then we'll get started right on the next eyelid. Okay, guys, I was able to go ahead and apply that gold shade on both of the eyelids. Now, what I will say, initially it felt a little muted, like it was hard to see the actual gold, which it still is actually, but from a distance... Um, now you can see it like you know what I mean like I'm not so close to like the ring light that's right above me now what I will say which I do remember now about using this palette that um, the buildability the yeah 
in terms of like the pigment, it's actually really good. So if you want to go in there very light handed and you just want to create a softer look, you could, and you can still pack on the product. You see this right here? And you, where you can achieve that uh, more of a, that darker gold that you're looking for. But if you really want it to be more lighter, like if you look down like over here, it's still a little bit light. Does that make any sense? That I do remember enjoying. All right, you guys. So the next um, eyeshadow I'm going to go into is this brown gold metallic shade. Um, that's all I can say. It looks like it has little gold sparkles in there. <laughs> it could be from the crossover. But anyways, you guys, I'm going to be using this brown one in the outer corner of my eyes. I'm going to be using the same brush. I didn't tell you the brush that I end up using, just in case if you are curious. It's the Tress Loose. It is the B103 brush. And I like this because it's a little bit more smaller. It gives me a little bit more control of where I'm applying the product. All right, you guys. So I did clean off the brush. I do have multiple ones of these, but um, I end up using the same one. All right, you guys. So I picked up a little bit of that product. Let's see here. All right. So as I mentioned, I'm just going to apply it right in the outer corner. I'm about to say inner corner, outer corner of the eye and then buff it inward right in the crease line here and then bring it slightly up on the outer edges to kind of give it that more of like that smoky eye appearance all right so i was able to go ahead and apply the brown shade on both of the eyelids um it blended out actually really nicely hopefully it translates well on your guys's and let me give you a close-up right here you see this I like that brown and that gold, that, like the combination. It doesn't look muddy, but it blended in so effortlessly. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm actually, I'm gonna use the black. I'm very curious. I'm gonna apply it right on the outer corner of that eye area and just slightly buff it out a little bit. I wanna see how it's gonna look if I just darken up just a smidge more. So I'm gonna go into, um, a MAC 219 brush. As I mentioned, I'm using this black that's right there. I'm just gonna take a little bit of it because I do remember that it did have a little bit of pigment. I wasn't like, for sure how much of the pigment that was gonna show. And I did dust a little bit off. Um, that I do remember that because black can be one of those shades that either has too much pigment and it's hard to work with or has none at all. And this one was like right in the middle. All right, so let me go ahead and just apply it right here and just Buff it inward, right below the crease line to kind of just give it like that soft, smoky eye appearance. Hopefully, it's translating well right now. Okay, I do see that. I need to get a little bit more. Let me pick some more of the product here and just slightly bring it in. You see that? Okay, there goes the pigment. Oh my goodness, this is looking so gorgeous right now. All right, you guys, so I was able to go ahead and blend out the black shade I end up, uh, <laughs> end up using <laughs> Buttercup. Um, I, keep, I keep forgetting how much this palette actually performs in terms of like quality wise. Like I love how it blends, blends out like butter. Anyways, you guys, so the next shade I'm gonna be using, which is gonna be the last shade, I'm gonna be using this yellow one. Now I am kind of like iffy on this yellow because I don't know how it's going to perform. So I'm going to do a test run here. I'm going to go with just a regular brush. Yeah. Um, I might grab some of this yellow right here because I'm curious. Hmm. Um, not sure if it's going to pay off. So let's just test this out. Okay. My In my head, I'm wondering if there's going to be any payoff, but we'll see here. Okay. It's very light, right? Yeah, it's light. Let's try this again. Let me get a little bit more. I'm, I just want to know of how deep of a uh, yellow this is going to be. Is it is it going to be like the other shades where you're able to build up to the pigment? So let's just take this and find out. Hmm. I don't know yet, you guys. It's there. I see it, but it's not as like bold as I, I would like for it. Okay, give me one second. I'm going to try to grab another eyeshadow palette. I'm, I'm going to test the theory out. Okay, so what I end up getting is this Anastasia Beverly Hills Narvina palette collection. Um, uh, it's the Pro Pigment Palette Volume number three. I opened it the wrong way. <laughs> Anyways, um, the reason why I got this is because I think it has a yellow shade in it. I've never used this. To be completely honest never did um let me don't drop it yes it has a yellow shape so what i'm gonna use 
right here. I can't say what I want to say. Um, um, I'm going to take that yellow shade and I'm going to see of what's in my head is actually going to work. What I'm gonna do is use this as kind of like a base for that yellow shade, the one that's more of like the glittery side to it. So, did that make any sense what I said? I don't know, sometimes I question my own self. Anyways, all right, so let's test this out. See, you look at that, yellows are really finicky, just like blues, blues and yellows from personal experience, they have like a funny like payoff in terms of pigment level. All right, so, I should have used a primer just to test this out. All right, so here's the yellow, right? Get a little bit more. Just curious. Here's a little bit more, right? <sighs> okay, so that's the one I just got done applying. Now let's go back to the YSL palette and take a little bit more of that product and go right on top. Let's just see, right? I'm just curious if the intensity level is going to increase. Hmm. Slightly, right? Slightly. <sighs> to, to be fair here, let's try this. Let's do one eye with just the shadow itself and then one eye with the Anastasia Beverly Hills yellow shade as a base and see if it does anything. We'll do that. All right, so we'll do this, I don't know, this eye with just the regular shade of the palette from the YSL and we'll just go from there, right? All right, did that make any sense what I just said? No, um, but again, <laughs> special. All right, so we're going to do this eye. Anyways, <laughs> do you see what I'm about to do, right? All right, let's just take a look. All right, let's just see how this yellow is going to perform. Hmm, it looks okay, I mean, in the pan, it looks more bright. I'm going to be completely honest. But when you apply it, it's not as bright as what the pan appears to be. Right? I mean, it's pretty. Don't get me wrong. It's not. All right. Let me just go ahead and finesse this a little bit more here and see what we come up with. So I went off camera just to complete the overall eyeshadow look itself. Now, what I end up doing is putting on some mascara. And then I end up bringing some of that black eyeshadow shade bring it down to the waterline area and bring in some of the yellow as well so they can basically connect give it that more of a softer overall appearance of that smoky eye now again keep in mind this eye right here i use just the regular eyeshadow itself with no base on this eye i did use the nasasha beverly hills the narvina palette with the yellow shade the shade doesn't have a name actually it only goes by e4 just in case if you are curious and i use that as the base now there isn't a huge difference to be completely honest yes you see a little bit more yellow but that's again because i used as i use that shade as a base but if you just review it at this side by just the shades themselves it actually blended out and performed quite well in terms of the yellow pigment i'll give you a close-up look you see how well it blended i am again i'm pleasantly surprised as how well this palette actually performs again it should be for 120 bucks but if you are lucky to get it for 40 or 30 bucks how, however much it costs at marshall or tj maxx good for you boo um now this is the other side with the um, Anastasia Beverly Hills base for the yellow pigment. But again, still look at the blendability. Do you see that? Like, I'm telling you, it's effortlessly. This palette right here, if you can get it, get your hands on it, you won't regret it. Anyhow, if you don't follow me on my other social media platforms under Instagram, Facebook or TikTok, make sure you do follow me on those other platforms because I do actually create separate content just strictly for those channels especially on tiktok so again if you don't follow me there make sure to head over there under the name of truly mke truly mke is pretty much on all of my platforms for social media and if you haven't done so already make sure you hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button as well but until then make sure to brush your teeth wash your culo and subscribe i will see you guys in my next video until then take care bye now